you here this Sunday morning at our first ever Catalyst Kids at Home. Now, if you've not met me before, my name is Sarah. Hello, lovely to meet you. Just so I can meet you too, why don't you take a moment and shout back from your screen to mine and let me know what your name is. Ready, three, two, one. Oh, what a shame, couldn't actually hear you, but I bet you have a great name. Now, whoever you're watching with this morning, why don't you give them a good morning fist bump? Now, I am here this morning with my family and I would love to introduce you. So why don't you put your hands together, give a big warm welcome to my sister, Hannah. Hello! Hello. This is Hannah, she's my sister. Um, Hannah, tell us about yourself. What is your favorite plant? My favorite plant is a succulent. Woo! Exciting stuff. Now, we are gonna worship together this morning. So why don't you get up on your feet, get ready to sing and to dance. Now, this week has been a bit of a bizarre one for all of the world, really. There has been so many things in our lives that might have changed, but there is one thing that never, ever, ever changes, and that is God. God is always up to something good, and we can always count on him. So we're gonna worship now, we're gonna sing, we're gonna dance, and thank God for that amazing truth. Why don't you try and sing and dance so loud that you shake your house a little bit. You ready? You ready? Yeah! I'm ready? Yeah! Woo!
new friends. And in that, there's going to be a Bible story. The story is from Matthew 28. If you want to go and grab your Bible to have it ready for the story, why don't you put me on pause? Go do that now. And then come back and press play. And now we are ready to go in three, two, one, go. Hello everyone, this is Ray, she is the captain of Connect Station. And this is Mike, he fixes everything around here. And today is a very big day for us. That's because along with all of our friends on Earth who have been watching for a while, we have a lot of new friends who have watching for the very first time. So from all of us here on Connect Station, welcome! Happy birthday! I mean welcome. And it's time to rehearse, rehearse the, the verse. verse. And today's verse comes from the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 12, verse 27. Say it like this, 1 Corinthians 12, 27. Now you are the body of Christ, and each one of you is a part of it. Right? Now repeat after me. 1 Corinthians 12, 27. 1 Corinthians 12, 27. Now you are the body of Christ. Now you are the body of Christ. And each one of you is a part of it. And each one of you is a part of it. <laughs> Great job. Because being a part of the body of Christ is just like that. All of us working together, fulfilling God's mission. Hello, ear. I am hand. Hello, elbow. I am foot. <laughs> exactly. What would it be like if our feet went in two different directions? <laughs> That would be weird. <laughs> right, we wouldn't get anywhere. And that's what the body of Christ is like, us working together. And that's why we do what we do here on Connect Station. Our mission is to, to lead kids to, to become, become fully, fully devoted, devoted followers, followers of Christ. Christ. I wasn't always the captain. And I wasn't always Mike. Or wait, yes I was. <laughs> what we're trying to say is that before all of this, before the station, the crew, everything, there was a beginning, and it all began with a brilliant scientist, Dr. Emo. And Dr. Emo created Connect Station and Nitro, our favorite robot. Nitro, come in, come in. It is finally finished. The station is incredible, Dr. Emo. Oh, thank you, Nitro. It is a place full of wonders, and it's a perfect spot to share the love of Jesus with the children of the world. Ah, it is a big task. I can do a lot, Doctor. Yes, but you can't do it alone. So, Dr. Emo brought us here to Connect Station. We were strangers, but after working together, reading God's word, praying and sharing our lives with each other, we became friends. And Dr. Emo chose us to be the Connect Station crew. Trust me, we are far from perfect. <laughs> but we try to follow Jesus and lead others to follow him too. And today we're making a video to show you around the station. So come with me, we have a lot to show you. Mike here, this is the hub, this is where we hub. And most of the controls for the entire station are here. Yeah. <gasps> the mailbox from Earth! I'll get it. <laughs> this is Alyssa, she handles all the station's communications. And I love mail! 
And I love meeting new friends. There's so much to show you. La, 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 la. This is the transporter. This is how we get to visit Earth. And when it's time to come home, whoosh, and we're back on the station. Ooh, and there's the transformation station. We use this to change ourselves into anything we want. Allow me to demonstrate. See, I'm a princess, for real. Alyssa, maybe you should... <sighs> okay, okay. <laughs> Mike and I were just telling our friends about the Connect mission. Oh, don't you just love it? To lead kids to become fully devoted followers of Christ. There's no greater mission than that. Hey, the Bible has something to say about that very thing. Hmm. Give her just one minute, she will find it. I love the Bible. It's like a letter straight from God himself. Found it. The Great Commission. Watch this. This is a 66 picks mixed up into one. The book's about God, who he is and what he's done. It's the Holy Bible, y'all, with God's truth packed out inside. It's alive, a prize to hide in your heart and in your mind. Old Testaments are set up for the big event. When Jesus crashed the scene with a new arrangement. It's history, his story, whose story, God's story. Let it blow up all the pages, let this show go live Let his word explode from this video into your life Now go and make disciples of all the nations Baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit Teach these new disciples to obey all the commands I have given you Hey Bouncy Oh hi Dot you're reading the Bible again. Is that the book of Matthew? Yeah, I just read about how Jesus came back to life. But then it just kind of stopped. The story's over. I thought it would be more like happily ever after. Oh, Bouncy, it is ever after. For Jesus' disciples, it was the beginning, not the end. Jesus told his disciples to go and make more disciples. Um, Dot? Yes, Bouncy? I know the word disciple, but I don't really know it. Disciple is a word that means student or learner. You know, Jesus' followers. When someone first hears the good news about Jesus and decides they want to live like him, there's still a lot to learn. But how are they supposed to learn? Did Jesus stay and teach them? Nope, Jesus went back to heaven with God. But his very last sentence gives a big promise. You can be sure that I am always with you to the very end. Oh, yeah! Jesus is with me in my heart. And with me, too. Jesus goes with us as we go tell others about him, as we share God's love with others, and as we teach them to obey Jesus. Jesus gives us the power to do something he did all the time. What's that, Dot? Make disciples. Jesus did do that all the time. I just read about how he spent time with his disciples every day. He hung out with them. He taught them things. He prayed with them. He showed them what God's love is like. And he showed them how to be free from sin. Exactly, Bouncy. Jesus made disciples. He taught others how to be like him. Making disciples is what he told all of us to do now. You know what, Dot? You are really good at that. I'm a disciple of Jesus because you taught me how. And you're just a kid like me. Yes, Bouncy. Even kids can make disciples. Everyone who decides to live for Jesus must do what Jesus told us to do. Make disciples. Like those guys on the mountain on Jesus' last day on Earth. Right. 
We wouldn't even be here today learning how to be a disciple if Jesus' disciple Matthew hadn't written all these stories down for us to learn from. They told the people they knew. And they told the people they knew. And they told the people they knew. And they told the people they knew all the way to us today. Let's think of some people we know who we can tell about Jesus. Yeah, I want to tell some people about Jesus. And that's why we do what we do. It is why. Jesus gave his followers a great mission to tell the whole world about him. We're part of that mission, and so are you. Hello, friends. I am Nitro. It seems Ray has been showing you around. It takes all of us working together to fulfill the Connect mission. Today's point is about that. Say it with me, friends. Are you ready? Together, we live out God's mission. Well done. Perhaps our friends will discover that point very soon. So, now that you've met Nitro, it's time to meet the man who's been behind the camera this whole time. Okay, hand it here. Thank you, Luke, for filling in. Yeah, she's all yours. Hi, everyone. Meet Luke. He is our resident safety officer. Hey, everyone. He keeps us from doing dangerous things. You know, like filming while on a scooter. Mike, that is not a good idea. Whoa! No. Mike, I would, but Mike. I can! Whoa! Mike, slow down! Stop ah. immediately! That's not safe! Okay. Ow! Oh. Oh. <laughs> you see, Captain? That's a 284 safety violation! There's always a new adventure around here. Watch this. I think you'll see what I mean. We've prayed together. And we've played together. We've learned together. And we've helped each other. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Come on, Mike, you can do this. Don't let fear control you. Yeah. <sighs> this is the best day ever. Woohoo! This is a prank. Your prank. Fix it. <gasps> oh, where did it go? <gasps> oh. Okay, jumping jacks. Mm -hmm. oh. Am I done yet? Keep going. Four, five. Am I healthy yet? Keep going. Oh, I thought this would be more fun. Mike, what's happened to you? Everyone likes baby. So, my change. Let's celebrate! Wait, now you're sure you're not sad that your birthday party wasn't perfect? What's there to be sad about? God has done so much for me. I mean, he sent his son Jesus so that I could know him. And he gave me the Connect crew so I can know all you guys. So, what you working on now? Well, Connect Station is due for a new operating system, so I'm just making sure that everything is right so we can have a smooth change. I love change. Change can be a lot of fun. And it can bring better things than we could ever imagine. Some of our biggest changes here on Connect Station were when some of our friends had to leave. God has always brought the right people, right when we needed them. Everyone meet Cruz Romero. We didn't just work together. We were friends, and even though we got on each other's nerves, we were like family. Hello, friends. I'm so glad that you guys are back. And I realize that we always have a reason to be thankful. I'm thankful for all that God has done for me. I'm thankful for all of you guys. And I'm thankful for all the kids that watch us every week. God had a great plan for them when they were here with us. And he still does. Right. Cruz is with his family. Clint is using a cure he made to help people. And Emily is leading kids on great Bible adventures and they are all still living out the mission to lead kids to become fully devoted followers of Christ. Saying goodbye wasn't easy. But God is always there to help us. And the room is also there to help us too. <sighs> guys, we haven't shown them the room yet. Come on, come on. You guys are gonna love this. To the room. Hello, Ray. How can I help you? Hey, your room. We've been making a video for our new friends watching from Earth for the very first time. 
How exciting. Well, I really wanted them to meet you because you're so important to all of this. It takes everyone working together to live out God's mission. 1 Corinthians 12, 27. Now you are the body of Christ and each one of you is a part of it. When the Bible talks about the body of Christ, it means everyone who believes in and follows Jesus all over the world. God never intended for his great mission to be lived out alone. Yeah, today's Bible story talked about the great mission Jesus gave us. I love how it takes all of us. Together we live out God's mission. <laughs> hey, that's today's point. Together we live out God's mission. Congratulations, Ray. You have connected the dots. Well, I better get out of here. After all, I have a mission to live out. Thanks, Room. You're very welcome, Ray. She's back. Hello, Ray. How was the room? Nitro, the room was great. I connected the dots and discovered the point. <gasps> so, what's the point? Together we live out God's mission. Oh, I love that. We're all part of God's mission. So let's say it together. Together, together we live out God's mission. mission. That's right. And we need all of you to live out God's mission with us. Right now, we're making bags for our friends on Earth, inviting them to join our mission. Aw, they're like little surprise gifts. Guys, this was a great idea. <laughs> surprise! You know, being part of Connect Station has definitely changed me. Well, we couldn't fulfill our mission without you, or any of us. It takes everyone. Even you, Nova. You want to meet our friends too, don't you? We're talking about God's great mission. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. It's just like today's verse says. We're all a part of it. Now say it with us, please. 1 Corinthians 12, 27. Now you are the body of Christ, and each one of you is a part of it. Great job. Now come back this week and remember the mission, because together, we, we live, live out God's, God's mission. mission. I'm so happy you're with us, whether you've been watching us for a while or you're a new friend, because together we live out God's mission. And it starts the moment that you choose to make Jesus the leader of your life. I've done it and so can you. Just remember A, B, C. A, admit. Admit that you've done wrong and ask God to forgive you for disobeying him. B, believe. Believe God sent Jesus to take the punishment for your sin. Trust that you're forgiven because Jesus made you right with God. C, choose. Choose to spend your whole life depending on God's power to help you say no to sin. As you live and love like Jesus, tell others God is your leader and number one friend. Jesus loves you so much, and I hope you choose to follow him every day and join us in fulfilling God's mission. Isn't that incredible that we can all live out God's mission, even right now when we're in our own homes? We can live out God's mission by loving our families around us and speaking God's hope and peace to the people that we talk to. Now, coming up next, we're gonna have some questions and activities that you can do with your family. They're gonna come up on the screen, boop, boop, and you can pause when it gets to that. You might wanna grab a notepad or a pencil or a piece of paper so you can jot down any thoughts that you have and look back at them later in the week. Now that's all from me this morning. I have loved being at Catalyst Kids with you all this Sunday. Thank you so much. From my house to yours, Lots of love. Have a great week. See you later. Bye.